Okay, I've got my 17-inch uh, um, Metabox laptop currently running um, Windows 11 XLite Optimum Pro 24H2. Um, I wanted to up, upgrade it to the uh, new 25H2 build. Um, I thought I could do it as an in-place upgrade so I don't have to reinstall everything but apparently you've got to do a fresh install so I'm just doing it on another NVMe drive um, that I um, put in the laptop um, just for this um, installation so I removed all the other drives and I only have the one drive in there at the moment so I'm just going to install um, Xlite Optimum Pro 25 h2 and see how we go okay i've got the uh, usb stick in the port there and i'm just going to turn it on and see what happens bear with me i'm filming this on a mobile phone so there will be some movement and whatever so we'll see we'll just see what happens okay I'll turn it on i've got my mouse connected hopefully it will detect the mouse I shouldn't have to press any F keys to select the boot device or anything. Uh, this should just go straight to installation. There we go. Setup is starting. I love this operating system. Completely stripped out. Um, I can install whatever else I need on here. Okay, so they give it the um, option um, to install it with Defender turned off or turned on. I always choose Defender on because I like it. Now, just gotta find my mouse. Okay, so we'll click next. Now, I did start an installation of this before, but I had to stop it and restart. So we're going to delete, delete, delete. So we have an un unallocated uh, drive and we'll go next. This is copying the files over. Yeah, this is being installed on a brand new, unused, Crucial T500 um, NVMe drive, 500 gigabyte size. That's the size that I generally use for Windows. I don't keep any personal files on my uh, Windows drive. Um, and if I did happen to store anything on there, I normally use Veracrypt and I create a, an encrypted folder and mount it in Windows File Explorer or whatever you like to call it and um, I put uh, whatever files I need to in that and whenever I need to use them I would mount it in Windows using Veracrypt and access the uh, folder or file they called it but it's a folder file um, yeah anyway um, we're at 93% now. Right. Installing updates. Got to restart. going to be interesting um, it's been about four or five months since I um, started using Xlite Optimum Pro um, everything else in Xlite Optimum Pro basically is disabled or removed there you go we're up to the desktop 
So that's taken seven, just on eight minutes to, um, from, sorry, from boot to desktop. It's just restarting now. Um, I have edited this video and chopped out the uh, section where it was installing the files and stuff just to um, shorten the video time. Okay. Yeah, so basically this um, is a very chopped down version. Um, it just takes a bit of time to um, set everything back up again. I go to um, my computer and there we go. It's um, We've got 465 gigabytes of uh, storage space and it's still got 459 so it's installed at about around about six gigabytes the um, 25h2 iso is about 3.2 gigabytes in size so there you go that other d drive that is the uh, installation media so yeah okay so that's it i'll go through now and um just um, set it all up the way I set up my um, X-Lite Optimum Pro 24H2. Okay, so that's it. Done. Okay. Um, I'm just going to restart the system and see how long it takes to boot up. Sorry, I just shut that down actually. So I'm going to do a complete restart. And press the power button and see how long it takes to get to the desktop. We'll start it on 30. Turn it on now at 30 seconds. Right. Fifteen seconds so far. Oh, twenty seconds. Twenty seconds to boot up from a start. Pressing the power button to the desktop. Not bad. Okay, we'll go off and um, have a play around with it and set it all back up again. Probably take me about two to three hours. Oh, I um. Also meant to mention, down here in the taskbar, there is no Wi-Fi. So, you have to connect to your Wi-Fi um, before you can do any Windows updates. And the next thing I do when I do connect to uh, Wi-Fi, I go straight to the uh, settings and um, security and updates, and I run... Uh, Windows updates and that will install any missing drivers um, and whatever just as um, just as it would happen on any Windows 11 installation so yeah so I'm going to connect the Wi-Fi now and then we'll start right okay um, I connected to the Wi-Fi and I've come to the um, settings Windows updates center and I've just uh, resumed uh, checking for updates so <clears throat> as you can see it says get the latest updates as soon as they're available this has been disabled <coughs> here we go yeah so as I was saying down here it has been disabled if I click on here this setting isn't available due to your organization's policy now that doesn't bother me at all because as I was saying I do I do my um, um, updates on a regular basis anyway I'm always going to the Windows Update Center so doing them manually isn't a problem for me at all Windows Cumulative security, real tech semiconductor, 
Intel Bluetooth is completed. Intel Corporation System, Realtek Network, Logitech, Intel Corporation Display. That's downloading at the moment. Hence why everything on the screen is big at the moment. So, NVIDIA Display, Realtek Semiconductor, Intel Corporation Extension, Creative Technology. Right, so half of them are completed already. Right, okay, so I'll pause this for a little while until it's all done. Okay, now we've got to the point where a couple of the updates are not going to download and install. It wants to restart. Um, we have the little warning thing there. So... Um, I noticed this in the last with the last time when I installed the 24H2 version. Um, so I'm just going to restart it now. And it should continue installing updates when it gets back to the Windows Update Center. Right. We'll go to settings. We'll go to Windows updates. Now it's got the cumulative updates, so we download and install that. That generally takes a while, I think. So let's have a look at system. Display, sound, notifications, blah, blah, blah. Activation. So because this has had um, Windows 11 Pro on it before, it's active. 